All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be covering something a little bit different than what I normally would do on this page. So I actually got a request from a viewer of my gaming channel to cover a specific type of fast forward transition sort of effect that I've been using a little bit more frequently on some of my gaming content that I do over there. And without further ado, here's an example of what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is drag and drop our normal video clip into the timeline here. And for this one, I'm actually going to be going a little bit further forward than what I normally do. I believe there is a good spot right around the 45 second mark. So to do this zoom effect, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the snipping tool and cut it right at the beginning of the section that I want to be working with. Next, I'm going to find the end of the section that we're going to be working with and I'm going to make another snip. So that is the exact frame that we want to cut. So I'm going to put it right there. Now, I'll show you one way that you can do this, but for what we're after, it's not going to work and you're going to see why. So if all we wanted to do was speed up the video, that's pretty easy to do. We can just right click, go to change clip speed, and then we can type in any speed that we want here. So if I wanted it to be five times faster, I can put in 500% and hit change. But then if we play it back, you're going to see it goes well beyond the section that we wanted. It just keeps going for the duration of the snipped portion that we made. So that doesn't quite work with what we're after. The easier thing to do and to get you a little bit more control is actually to right click and then go to retime controls. What this will do is if I just zoom in a little bit more, you can see this speed change section has popped up above the clip that we're working with. So what you can do is either drag that backwards to make it faster. So if I was to play it back right now, it would be at 346%. We can see that right down here. So it is faster and it cuts off at the exact point that we wanted. Or if I just undo that, we can click on the little drop down next to 100%, change the speed. And if I wanted it to be exactly four times faster, I can click on 400% and it speeds it up right there. So now if I drag the next section back in and play it from slightly beforehand, we can see that that section is in fact sped up. But now what if we only wanted to speed up a portion of this and then have it go back into its normal speed? Well, that's pretty easy too. So if we wanted to have maybe a second or two of the normal speed, we can just snip it a little bit early, change that first portion to, let's say, a, actually let's manually change it. Let's go to maybe around 350% or so. I'm just going to zoom in and make it a little bit more accurate there. 361, I think that's pretty close. And then if we drag those other two sections back and play it back from slightly before, we can see it's fast, slows down, and goes back into the rest of the video just like normal. And that's really all there is to it. It's as simple as that. It's just a trick of the retime control. Now, you can use the same method to slow down a video clip by dragging it backwards, or rather dragging it forwards. But as you're going to see when I do this, if your frame rate isn't high enough, it's going to get a little stuttery. So if I was to drag this to 50% speed, which is half the speed that it would normally be, and played this back, you can see that it's going to stutter and with this being shot at 24 frames per second, there really isn't that much that we can do to smooth it out. We can do some frame interpolation, but 
that is definitely a video for another day. That's not something I want to cover in this one. So, if you did want to speed up your video, again, just change it to the read time control and make sure you're clicking on this blue section above where the, re where the speed change actually is to slow it down or speed it up. Because if you click on here, you're actually just trimming the video length as you normally would. And there we have it. If this video was helpful at all, make sure to let me know in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes so I can cover exactly what it is that you want to see. And if you did like this, make sure to also leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It does help me out a lot. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.